Welcome to the NADFL channel. I got a message this week that said the Miami Dolphins had an interest in signing former Pittsburgh Steelers running back James Conner. My initial reaction was, James Conner. I'm sure that was everyone's reaction. As the Dolphins get closer to taking the next step as a franchise, many big-named free agents have been rumored to Miami. I think my initial reason was so met because former Green Bay Packers running back did not receive the franchise tag and will officially become a free agent on Monday. Jones should be a priority for the Dolphins and I would pay him the big money he is looking for. However, then I started to really think about Connor. If Jones picks another team or the money is too much for Miami or any other reason Jones doesn't become a Dolphin, then maybe Connor isn't such a bad backup plan. According to ESPN's John Clayton, Miami should be able to sign him for a cheap contact, nothing more than $3 to $4 million per year. That's a big plus in my eyes because you add a starting running back for cheap and then can spend big somewhere else. If signing Connor meant Miami could also sign free agent center Corey Lindsley, who should be Miami's number one free agent target and sign the wide receiver they need most Juju Smith-Schuster, then I'm all for it. Getting Connor so cheap would also allow the Dolphins to let the draft play out. They could sit at 36 and if one of the running backs they love drops there, they can take him. Signing Connor wouldn't stop them from drafting a running back early, but it would help them not reach on one. A combination of Connor and Miles Gaskin would not be the worst combination in the world. When Connor is healthy, he is an elite running back, but that's the problem, he can never stay healthy, so it's impossible to say he's elite anymore. If the Dolphins did go into Sundays with Connor and Gaskin, they would be okay. That is more than enough at running back in the NFL, and if Miami has an elite offensive line, they will get production from those two guys. Signing Connor over Jones would sting a little, but not if the Dolphins understood the flexibility it would give them, and they took advantage of that. I would be okay with a Connor Gaskin combo heading into a season, but then pair that with a 2021 early round running back, and you also added two big named free agents because of it, and you have my attention. 